Hey everyone, it's Colin. Uh, today I'm going to do a video on how to move fast in duck game, uh, just like on the ground. We're not going to be talking about any gun movement or anything like that. Um, but it's going to be covering a lot of different techniques and different tech in general that a lot of people don't really know about, but it's really useful and cool. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to start out really quick by making a lobby. It's not going to be one with like any other people. I'm just going to add a second player with a LAN game, so now it's online. And the reason I'm doing that is because one of the techs only works online. And some of the things, the physics is a little bit different. So it's always nice to have an online lobby because you can uh, practice doing things that I'll show in this video that you couldn't do otherwise. Okay. So we're going to start off by doing uh, just some basic stuff. Let's go to Office 12. So, okay, this one's pretty basic. This is just going to be falling through platforms. Uh, all you do, obviously, you probably know this if you're watching this video and reach this point. If you hold crouch and jump, you go right on through, but uh, for everyone that didn't skip this immediately thing, it's useless. Uh, you can actually do that while you're falling in the air. So if I'm crouched and falling down and I press jump in advance while I'm crouched, I'll fall through uh, right away. And then I won't get it like stuck waiting and then I have to like time it and stuff and it's annoying. Um, and that's really useful on this map because if you run forward, you'll notice I'll like run into this thing here and that blocks you from getting the gun as early. So what you can do is if two people are racing for this gun, if you jump right here, you'll fall a little bit earlier because you just do. And you can see that I'm not even hitting the uh, ceiling there if I do it like this. But sometimes you might clip the platform here and it messes you up. So the more consistent thing you can do is you can combine hitting your head on that little uh, block up there, which uh, is helping you fall down faster, with also crouching and then jumping to fall through the platform. So when you spawn, you're guaranteed to not hit this little block here and you can get the pistol earlier than anyone else. And uh, yeah, if you do that while grabbing the nade and throwing it, uh, you'll usually disarm people and uh, you can grab the gun and shoot them. And it's just a nice little thing to be faster. And also if you spawn on the top and they, they spawn on the bottom, you can even do it here and you'll usually tie them to the pistol just because it's so much faster than like walking around or like doing anything else. It's basically the fastest way to do it. That's just one example. Uh, we're gonna move on to another one. We're gonna go to Office 04. This is another great example of using like hitting your head on the ceiling to get down faster. So on this map, um, you'll see this a lot in 1v1s. With these spawns right here, it's actually convenient that I got these. If you, uh, at the start of the round, jump and hit your head, and then you start falling. As you start falling, you hit crouch to break the glass. If you do all that, and it's kind of a weird timing, you have to get used to it. If you do all that, you can grab the gun and shoot them. And what most people are going to do is, like if I'm the gray duck, well hang on, let me get on the other side so I can break the glass. Most people, they won't know that you can even break the glass while doing this, and it's kind of hard for them. Um, but if you get used to it, they're going to be going like this and then grab the gun. But you're just so slightly faster when you do the jump crouch, that when you shoot the gun, assuming both of you guys are going as fast as you can, uh, you'll kill them first, and if you jump right away, their bullet will go right underneath you and you'll win the round. Um, should mention, if you want to fake people out, you can just flutter uh, when you're doing it, and then they'll shoot underneath you, and you can try and beat them like that. But I'm just trying to talk about how to be fast, not talking about map strategies. Okay, we're going to move to a different deck. We're going to go to what's called Instant on Ragdolling. This is one of my personal favorites. So basically, with this one, it's pretty simple. If you go up to any little corner like this, where I am on the right, and you press Ragdoll while you're all the way inside of it, you'll pop up, just like that, and you're actually able to jump during that. So... Like on this map, rather than jumping on this rock and getting up here, right when you spawn, you can just get right up if you do an instant ragdoll by just pressing ragdoll and then jumping after when you pop up. So I'm going to show you a couple of different spots, because obviously there's this one right here, but there's a lot more you can do with this than what I'm showing right now. So we're going to move on to Forest 19. And this one, uh, people have probably seen me do this a lot. It has to be the 8-player version, actually. That's the wrong one. Okay, so on this one, when you jump on this platform right here where I am at the start of the round, uh, we're going for this top left neck gun here, by the way, this one right here. Normally you can't really reach this, you can't get up to it, or you have to like go over here and then do it. The fastest way to do it though, is you just jump on this, and you do the instant on ragdoll, and you, uh, you make, make sure to let go of your movement keys when you're like first doing it. Because I know some people will hold right and then do it, and then they might like not have enough height because they're swinging out too far. So just let go of everything, then when you ragdoll, and after you jump, start pressing left. That makes it easier for a lot of people. And uh, yeah, you can even get up here if you wanted to, but yeah, you can just do that, grab the net gun, and then start shooting your opponent or whatever. Uh, just to show you. Okay, let's move to a different map. We're gonna go to level three. 
Okay, so this is one uh, where it's not going to be on a nub, which I was showing already, like this corner here, or a nub, it's whatever you want to call it. Um, you can do it on crates. So what you can do is, if I want to go for, like, say, the pistol up here, I can go all the way around, or if I'm a little bit better, I can maybe do that or something. Um, but you can be really, really fast. So I'm just going to spawn right here, and I just go up, and then I can do it a second time on this box, and I get the pistol right away. It's really nice. Uh, also, you can go for the hammer if you want. You can go nuts with the hammer, but we're not talking about the hammer this video. That's that's for a later date. But yeah, you can do it on both sides. Uh, it's pretty simple. And uh, basically what I'm trying to say is, this is just an example of like a rollout you can do. But anything that's the height of that crate, like this barrel or like a corner, if you just press ragdoll on it when you're in an online game, because it only works online, uh, you'll pop up and you get a bunch of extra height. It's pretty simple to do. So we're going to go to level 8, and this is one... Probably the most aggressive example uh, that I'm going to show, where basically, at the start of the round, I like to go over here, and you can use instant ragdolling to get to the magnum as fast as possible. So I do it here and then jump, and then I can do it again here, or just ragdoll to catch it, but I like to instant ragdoll because it just pops me up right away. It's just whatever you want to do. Sometimes people find it more consistent to do it like that, but I pop up. And, uh, oh yeah, this is one more. So, obviously... You can do it on here if you want to and you get up here. Go for the shotgun from the bottom. Another one is if you're in the middle and going for the shotgun, if you uh, if you get to this box, which most, most people are going to do, you're not going to be going like this. That's weird. If you jump to this box, uh, you do the instant ragdoll, and you'll see that I can go over here, then I pop up again, and I can grab the shotgun. Or if I want to, I can ragdoll again and get all the way up to the top. It's just whatever you want to do. And uh, yeah, that's just another useful one. There's, I'm just trying to illustrate just how many there are because you can use this almost anywhere. Um, there's, here's another one. Like, if you spawn on the bottom, you can do it on this box, then off this barrel. But most people do, especially uh, players who are in tournaments. They'll jump around to this barrel and then do it up here. Uh, because you get to the net guns really fast. But if you're spawning on the bottom, you can also do it to get all the way up to the top really fast. There's quite a few places you can do it. You can even do it right here if you want to. Um, if you're weird, you can do it here. That gives you no real benefit, though. Uh, but yeah, there's... A ton of different places you can do it. And I'm going to show you one more, and then we're going to move on to something else. Alright, this one... Oh, I actually love doing this one. So this is shotgun up here. And uh, if you're down here, you can actually get it faster than anyone else. Even the guy that spawns right here. So basically, if you spawn where Gray is, you run to the right right away, you pop up here, and then you do it a second time off this box. Make sure to land first, by the way. This only works if you've landed. Because if I do it uh, while well in the air, it won't let me jump again. So if I do it like uh, that, I can't jump. You have to make sure to land every single time before doing it. Because some people will do it too fast and they can't jump and it doesn't work. So land when you do it. Uh, and you can get the shotgun right away and it's really nice. Because you can just do that. And go kill people or whatever you want to do. Okay, we're going to move on to a different thing. Alright, bunker one, not bunk one. So basically, high ragdoll jumping is like instant and ragdolling but everywhere. Uh, basically, if you do two ragdolls, you'll notice you'll pop up when you're on the ground. Um, you can also do ragdoll jump to get out of ragdoll. You basically just ragdoll and then get out of it. You can do whatever buttons you want. I just do two ragdolls. So you do that, and then you can jump out of it right after, and you'll go from being able to jump 3.5 blocks to being able to jump up to 5 blocks. Like, this is just a 4 block jump. Um, but I like showing it on this map because you can get into the middle really fast from the start and go grab your key or whatever. Um, this is just a place where I use it a lot, so I had it written down here. You can also jump, uh, even higher if you ragdoll at the end by uh, like grabbing onto something, because I'm sure most people are used to doing something like this if they're trying to get extra height. But that's actually really slow and it puts you in ragdoll. Uh, so you can be a lot faster. I'm going to show you a couple of examples. So most of these are going to be showing how you can get to higher places, like right here on Bunker 05. You might have seen people go from where I'm standing all the way up to the uh, sniper here. And the way you do that is you just do the same thing, ragdoll, then get out of ragdoll, and then jump. But you're not up all the way, you're just jumping the five blocks out of six. But you can see that if I ragdoll at the end here, I'll uh, pop up. And uh, yeah, just make sure to do that before you start falling down, because most of the time you won't have enough height if you're doing it too late. So you gotta mess around with the timing. And I also should mention that jumping six blocks will not work in an offline game, it has to be online. I'll just show a couple of examples here, I'll just find a random level and then go off that. Yeah, sure, this works. So if I'm down here, I can... Do this jump and get up here. Uh, I'm crazy. I don't know, I can maybe make that? No, I can get up here, though. Uh, I'll go to a different level. Uh, I think there's a couple on here. Like, you can 
and jump up here as a five block jump. Uh, you have to time it really well to hit the full five blocks. Most of the time, you're just going to ragdoll a second time like this. But yeah, if you're good enough and you have the timing down, you can just make it all the way up nice and smooth. Okay, let's go to a different level. This one right here, there are, eh, there's a couple of jumps on here. Uh, I actually like doing an instant and a ragdoll here sometimes. But yeah, there's a couple of six block jumps, or like five blocks. You can just jump around. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of rambling right now, but hopefully you can see, like just from stuff I'm coming up with off the top of my head, you can move around quite a bit if you have these things memorized. Actually, I do want to show some specific ones. Uh, if you're a little bit crazy, you can do some of these. If you're feeling cool, you want to practice these, uh, you can do something like this. And, uh, get all the way up here. It's a perfect six block jump though, and you also have to swing around. So if you want something to practice, if everything here is just too easy, you can try some of these. Here's another one. This is probably the hardest one that you can do. You just go down here, and then you do uh, two really late ragdolls, and you have to crouch to get around. And uh, then you do a full jump. And it's, it's still hard for me, because it's a dumb jump. But yeah, you can get all the way up. And uh, yeah, let's go to a different one. There's one more that I can show here. Um, there's a spawn on the right side of where Gray is, like right over here. If you want, you can get this shotgun right away uh, by doing this. And uh, yeah, you can get up to the shotgun. And yeah, there's a bunch of jumps you can do on like every single map. Uh, hopefully you're getting the idea. So I'm going to show what's called a buffer jump really quick. Back to Office 01. Basically, in Duck Game, when you're walking around, even when you're falling, you can jump a little bit later in the air. Like you can see I'm basically jumping off of nothing. That's because I just fell off a block recently. So basically, the game gives you some extra buffer frames where you can just uh, jump around and it's uh, nice and lenient. But you can actually exploit this to get around things you really shouldn't be able to. Like you can see over here, there's no way I should be able to get around these blocks. But if you jump as late as possible, uh, you can actually get around. I haven't done it in a little bit because I always do that six block I just showed a little bit ago. So uh, you can do it a little bit later. Even later than that. And yeah, you can get all the way around. And it is consistent. It's just kind of weird. You gotta get the timing. You gotta get used to the timing every single time you play. Uh, I didn't play anything before this, but yeah, there you go. Hit two in a row there. And you can do it on both sides. It'll work anywhere where there's a block. Uh, so yeah, you can get around some uh, nice areas. I think there's actually another one. I just remembered this level existed. Office 10. This is a dumb example, but it's just showing like some different places you can do it. You can get around here if you want to. And yeah, you can move around quite a bit uh, with all these different techniques. All right, so this is just gonna be showing normal clipping. Uh, I was just basically skipping levels until I found something that was kind of closed down. Basically, if you're in a room that's about as tall as your duck, so it's two blocks tall, and there's a door or a wall, on the right side it works most of the time, on the left side it's less of the time. If you do ragdoll and then unragdoll while not pressing anything else, uh, you'll clip into the ceiling, then you can jump out of it and move around. And uh, yeah, it's it's pretty useful if you're like escaping stuff or just moving around. Um, you can do it like on this, it's kind of hard though for stuff that's not for the floor, not right next to it. Yeah, here, hang on, let me get like close. There we go. Yeah. And uh, even if you really wanted to, there's this thing called uh, grab clipping, which you can do, which is not very common. I won't lie. Um, but basically, when you do this clip, there's a single frame where you stay able to grab stuff. So if you do ragdoll, unragdoll, and then grab something right after, uh, you'll be able to clip with it. And I'll show a better map for that, actually. So yeah, on this level, um, this pistol right here, you can do a clip, and also grab it on the way through. I'm not very used to grab clipping. I've basically never done it in gameplay. It's not even like something I even consider. Um, but some people use it. A uh, very select few people, though. And yeah, I just did it there, but I didn't actually go all the way through because I'm thinking I'm missing it every time. There we go. Yeah, um, it's not very consistent. If you're good at doing frame-perfect things, then you can probably get it more consistent than me. Uh, most people don't really bother with it, though, because... Uh, if you have to try something multiple times like that, you're probably going to get killed or just have a better time doing something else anyways. Um, but yeah, if you want to try that out and get better at it, you can definitely do it. All you do is you just do a normal clip, but right after you uh, unragdoll, you press grab. Okay, I don't know what the fuck I just did, but um, yeah, that happened. Alright, we're going to move on from normal clipping because you kind of get the idea. Uh, let's look at uh, down clipping. Okay, so let's go to bunk row 2. I don't actually have anything written down for this. I just have some good examples in mind. So basically with down clipping... All it is, is that if there's like any wall, you can go at it at like a diagonal, 
like this, and you press ragdoll while you're going down, then unragdoll right as you land, and you can get into places you're not supposed to be. Like, you can't do that. You can't do a normal clip to get in here because there's not a ceiling for you. Uh, the only other way in is to get a key, but if there's no key, or maybe you just want to do it for the hell of it, uh, you can do that. And this works on basically any key door in the game. So I'll show another one. Let's go to, like, Bunker 01. This is another good example. So, obviously, there's uh, the dart up clip you can do here, but I'm not going to talk about that. Uh, if you want to do this, you can get into the uh, sniper room. I personally don't down clip a lot myself, but yeah, you can get in here and you can go uh, wreak havoc on people by doing a bunch of stuff. But uh, yeah, that's that's just down clipping. It works basically anywhere, um, quite literally. Like, if there's a wall uh, at all, you'll probably be able to down clip it. Like, I could probably down clip this, but there's the platform in the way and it's kind of annoying. Maybe it doesn't apply to pipes. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yeah, it's just an example of down clipping. So you'll either go through the other side, or if there's a block group, you might go up, or like it might just block you out. But yeah, that's down clipping. We're going to move on to uh, portal clipping. Yeah, why not? So let's talk about that. Portal clipping is pretty easy. Uh, con conceptually, it's pretty easy. You might, might have to get used to the timing, though. So basically, when you go through a portal... Um, Right before you go through it, you do a slide, and then you uh, press ragdoll. If you press ragdoll at a certain time while sliding, you'll pop out uh, on the wrong side. Like, I'm supposed to be up top, but uh, I'm on the bottom, or I'm supposed to be on the bottom, but I'm up top. And this works on any teleporter in the game. Um, it might give you different results depending on the teleporter. Like, these two are connected, so obviously it'll always put me on the other side every time, like you're seeing right here. Same thing applies to these two. They're connected, so if I go through it, um, I'll end up on the other side. But... You'll notice some of them aren't connected, like this one right here, and then this one up here, and the one in the middle. So if I try and portal clip this guy, I end up on the bottom. I don't know, it's it's some weird shit. Basically, it just depends on the teleporter. Okay, there's also this one. If you want to be an asshole, uh, you can get out of the map. Um, don't do that, that's annoying. You can also kill yourself on this map by doing that. So if it's like the end of the round, and you just want to uh, do something funny, you can do this. Uh, like that. There we go, and you just kill yourself. Okay. Let's go to a different one. This is one where portal clipping is probably more useful. Uh, you can get to the other side of like any of these teleporters. You can uh, do a portal clip down here. You can also do it right here if you really want to. I've seen people do it on these. Man, I usually do it up there at the end of a round. But yeah. There's some uses to teleclipping. So you'll find uses for it. I have a good example of one that it's really easy to explain. Uh, it's on this map. So you can see there's that net gun in the middle there that's concealed by these two teleporters. And obviously, if you're on the right, you can go up here and get the net gun, no problem. But if you're on the left, or if you just want to be faster, uh, you can do a teleclip. Well, my hat got in, but I didn't. And yeah, you get the net gun right away. So that's that's like a practical example. You can also do it on here if you want the RC car to kill someone in the middle or something. And you can do it right here if you want to kill yourself. All right, we're going to move to corner up clipping, which is very weird. So basically, corner up clipping is something that maybe like 20 people know about right now. Uh, what corner up clipping is, is you just go up through a block, if you're on the bottom left of it, and you do your strafing, you slide, you jump, while facing left, and then you have your head hit this block here a certain way. You gotta get used to it. You'll just clip up. You can get all the way up there. It's kind of funny to do in front of people, especially when they haven't seen it, because you just basically teleport. And, uh, yeah, that's one example. I'll show you some other ones that are more useful. That one's mainly just to be funny. Uh, let's go to bunker a one. All you gotta do... If you're on the left side of something, is you just do this, slide jump, ragdoll at the end, and if you do it at a certain time and you get lucky, you'll clip in. Sometimes it doesn't clip you in like that. It's really annoying, I don't know why. And uh, yeah, there we go, I got clipped in. Um, yeah, that's, that's corner up clipping. I'm gonna show you one more example. This one is probably the most suicidal example you can do, because everyone's shooting everyone on this map at all times. If you're on the bottom left here, you can get up. And yeah, you'll probably get shot if you miss this like more than two times. But yeah, here we go. I'm in the Magnum room. So in Office 12, you probably already know what I'm going to do if you're like getting an idea of where this works. Bottom left thing right here. Do an up clip like that where you slide and jump into the corner. By the way, if you fuck it up, you'll probably fall through here and sometimes you bounce off and just die. But yeah, you can get into the, pure, you can get into the uh, present room. Uh, go get your weapon of mass destruction. What, what the fuck? 
All right, now this is a force to be reckoned with. This fucking sucks. Anyways, we're gonna move on. Okay, so this is high jumping. Basically on this map, I'm on the right here, which is actually convenient. So I can actually get from down here up to this rocket launcher. You'll see it looks like I can't make it. But um, there's this thing in Duck Game where when you're ragdolled, you can move around with like the uh, motion keys. And if you have momentum with that, it adds momentum to it. So if I'm jumping up and ragdolling, I get some extra height. And then we combine that with doing a high jump. So we do a high jump like this. And then right after I jump, I ragdoll again. So I do ragdoll, unragdoll, jump. And then right after, I ragdoll again. And then I mash the up key as fast as I can. There's actually a rhythm to it. But typically, if you just do it as fast as you can, you'll get this jump no problem. Um, yeah, you can jump really high with it. This is a seven block jump. Uh, most of the time, you're going to be doing six block jumps like uh, that or something. But you can get a little bit higher if you do a high jump. It's a nice thing to have. You'll get up here. Um, you can get up to really high places. I'm just showing this one as an example because the other ones are not really practical. There's also maps that are made around the concept of high jumping, which are pretty fun to play. Uh, if you got some friends that are good at duck game and uh, are good at high jumping, it's fun to go through them. Uh, and yeah, there was also um, some like ridiculous heights you can get with high jumps. Like the highest most people will ever go is either 10 blocks or 11 blocks if they play a lot. Um, but there's only one person ever right now to hit a 12 block jump, uh, which is so, and, uh, I'll put a clip on the screen just to show you what that looks like. Cause it's such a ridiculous jump. Oh, oh. damn. Oh, I made it. Oh, oh, what? Oh, Katoa, 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 Katoa. What a Katoa. jump. You, you overshot it. Oh my god. Bro, you, you, are you recording this guy? It took him like one or two hours. It was ridiculous. And he made it all the way up to 12 blocks. That record will probably stay there for a very long time. The theoretical maximum for a high jump is 16 blocks, but the chances for it are so ridiculous because uh, how, how far you go whenever you press L in a direction on your ragdoll uh, is random based. So if you were to get every perfect number while getting the perfect rhythm, you could jump 16 blocks high, which is just ridiculous. But uh, don't ever count on doing anything like that because if people are high jumping all the time and only a 12 block has ever been hit, you're not going to get a 16 block anytime soon. But yeah, that's high jumping. Uh, let's move on here. So we're going to go to the arcade. We're going to go to the first level. I'm going to talk about uh, rag dashing. So basically, uh, in duck game, when, it, when you're ragdolled, when you unragdoll, it actually keeps a little bit of your momentum. So uh, on this level in particular for the speed run, it's a good example. So we jump up like this to get some height. And then when we fall back down, we do a rag dash to get some extra speed. You'll see that I went a little bit faster there. It's because uh, when I ragdoll while falling down, then unragdoll, the game is converting that uh, downward momentum into horizontal momentum. And make sure to crouch, by the way, because you lose less speed when you're crouched. And yeah, and I'll show an example of it in the speed run because um, it's probably better to show that than show me just flailing around. No, call it, call it. The, um, I think it's like, what's, what's it called? Like, Yazaki, um, um, Colin. Yeah. So let's, um... Wait, wait, I, I just got a new best! If you're ever doing speed running, it's nice to know. If you're ever playing in a game, honestly, there's not really many spots that people do it in. But you can do it when you're fucking around at the end of a round, you're just trying to show off. So on space 06, uh, on the very bottom here, there's this gap here. If you're using a gun, you can make it. I'm not talking about that though. We're gonna talk about the cooler way, the harder way. So basically with this, you're gonna combine a couple of methods that you learned. You gotta jump as late as possible using buffer jumps. So it looks like I'm jumping off nothing right now. You gotta make sure to do that when you're doing this jump. And then make sure that when you jump, you do it for as little time as possible. And then you start fluttering as soon as possible. And then at the very end, you're gonna ragdoll. And I'll try and show you what that looks like. I might mess it up a bunch of times. Uh, if I do, I'll probably just cut to it. But yeah, I'm gonna try it right now. Oh, no shit, I made it my first try. That's nice. <laughs> so that's the jump. Uh, you can do it from the left side or the right side. All right, it's actually been a bit since I finished the uh, recording of all that stuff, but I forgot to include one more thing, which is uh, pyramid up clipping, where basically on any ceiling in pyramid maps, if you just uh, slide and jump like this, and then press ragdoll at the top, you'll just pop right on through. You can do it on any ceiling. Like literally all of them. I can do it here, I can do it here, I can do it up here. Some of them you don't get through as well, like on these. Well, I guess you can on those. But things like this, you won't get really good results on. They'll just kind of pop out. Um, but yeah. Um, 
it's really useful if you like spawn say right next to this magnet gun or right next to this net gun and you want to get there first you can just pop right on through and just shoot immediately uh it's a nice way to be fast and you can get out really easily you can get up here really easily sometimes this happens with the two thick uh blocks which i'm surprised it didn't happen earlier but uh yeah if it's a one one block thick thing you can get through it really easily and one last thing that you've probably seen a million times online is you can do it on the ceiling up here and get out of the map and uh yeah so that's gonna be all the stuff i have to show you uh hope you learned something from it uh I'm going to try and do a part two that's covering more stuff like gun movement. And uh, yeah, hopefully that'll be happening by next week. Um, if it doesn't, then feel free to yell at me and foul play. There's a join link in the description. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.